Hey everybody, Chana D, your techno dad here. And I got a video that's gonna explain Dolby Atmos and your basic 5.1 surround sound setup. I've had questions from people that have a sound bar and wanna step up to a full-fledged home theater setup. That's what this video is gonna be about and we're gonna get into it right after the jump. All right, and I'm back. What is up, everybody? In the comments down below, just let me know what do you have for your audio setup with your nice 4K TV? Soundbar, 5.1 setup, 7.1 setup, 9.1 setup? Do you have a Dolby Atmos setup? Let me know. So let's start off with this 5.1 setup. I believe it started off back in the Dolby Pro Logic era. I believe I was in 10th grade and my dad wanted me to pick out a stereo system and we were gonna go like piece it together. And back then, Dolby Pro Logic 2 was the new thing and you have five speakers, a subwoofer, and that was your 5.1 setup. So this is pretty much it. Your first ones are your fronts, okay, or left and right. What this is gonna do in a movie is gonna provide all the foreground noise, any kind of forward panning is gonna happen. And when we add the center channel, this is gonna be the third channel in the five, and this is gonna cover all the dialogue, everything that the actors are talking about is all coming from the center channel. So center channel is very important. Next we have channels four and five, which are your surrounds, just off to the side a little bit, a little bit behind you, and you kinda of wanna to measure to have the tweeter of the speaker going to your ear, a somewhat immersive experience. We've got speakers in front, front, left, center, and right. We have speakers behind you. The point one is your subwoofer, which hangs out usually here, here, or in some corner. Okay, and this is your 5.1 setup. So now, here's where Dolby Atmos comes in. Dolby Atmos wants to make a more immersive experience, and how they do that is with ceiling or height speakers. So now we've got 5.1.2 for these guys right here. This is a 0.1 and a 0.2. So now you're going to have things that fly over you are going to be above you. Helicopters, planes, and you'll be here and you'll hear something go phew or pew or any kind of noises like that. All right, here we have a 5.1.4 setup where we have four ceiling speakers or four height speakers. This is really awesome because the sound designers and the sound mixers these days can pinpoint in three dimensions where an object is. That's kind of like the whole thing with Dolby Atmos is the object-based sound. And let's check out a few more setups. All right, so this one's called a 7.1.2. Now the seven refers to the regular one, two, three, uh, four and five, but they add surround back channels that are actually behind you. So now your surrounds have moved up here and you've got these surround back channels that are here, and that's what the seven's about. Okay, the point one is still your subwoofer, and the point two are your two height speakers. Now, my new receiver, the Denon AVR-X6300H, can support this setup, a 7.1.4 setup, where you've got 11 channels powered by the one receiver. So now we've got four ceiling speakers, and we've got the seven surround sound speakers. And this will definitely give you a very, very immersive experience, especially with your 4K ultra high definition HDR TV. You're gonna have a really, really awesome time watching movies. The point one still stands for the subwoofer. Now, there is one other configuration where this is a nine, 9.1.2. And if you notice now, they add these two speakers that are kind of in front of the listening area off to the side a little bit. So you definitely have this big circle of speakers. And we still have two height speakers or ceiling speakers for Atmos. This will also give you a very immersive movie theater experience. My denim receiver will also support this 9.1.2. Basically what the receiver has is 11 amplifiers. So nine plus two, 11, or seven plus four, 11. And that's pretty much how the speakers are set up. What I'm trying to go for is a modest 5.1.2, which means I'll just have to get two speakers in the ceiling. And if you've seen my video of my home theater setup, you've already noticed that I already have 
speakers that are hanging off of beams or mounted to beams. So I'm just going to buy two new surround speakers, some small clips bookshelves, and then move the other speakers to a more of a ceiling or height position. All right, so now you must be asking, well, how do I get this Dolby Atmos? So first things first, you're going to need an audio video receiver. This is the one that I purchased. This is the Denon AVR X6300H. MSRP is $2199. I got it for around $1700. And the reason you need one of these is you need one of these to decode the Dolby Atmos soundtrack that's going to be coming in from your 4K ultra high definition Blu-ray player or your Blu-rays or whatever streaming service. I could have gone with the step down, the 4300, but the 4300 only had 7 channels. This one has full 11 channel amplification. So that's definitely something you have to look for. If you want Dolby Atmos setup, you need 11 powered channels. So what would you do if you only had seven powered channels? You'd have to get a separate amplifier for the four channels. I wanted an all-in-one solution, so out of the box, this Denon 6300 will power a full 7.1.4 Dolby Atmos configuration. So the next thing you need are speakers. So here we are at the Klipsch website. We are down in the Dolby Atmos enabled home theater system. These are definitely expensive, okay? Um, I have 5.1 setup from Klipsch that I bought over 10 years ago. And all I'm gonna do is add two more speakers as, si as height speakers and I'll have that 5.1.2. That's like the smallest Dolby Atmos setup. These two systems are 5.1.4. This one, this one uses these two to bounce sound off the ceiling, and these ones actually has speakers you put into the ceiling. All right, and the next thing you need, this is the ultra high definition Blu-ray player that I have, and this does decode Dolby Atmos. No matter which one you get, whether it's a Panasonic, whether it's a Samsung, or the LG, or even the Sony, since all those companies are coming out with a 4K ultra high definition Blu-ray player, make sure they can decode Dolby Atmos and DTS-X. Those are the two sound stages that are being released now and in the future. And here on Dolby's website, you can find Dolby Atmos releases on Blu-ray and streaming. So there's a whole list of this stuff. Check it out, I'll put a link in the description and you can see what has Dolby Atmos already. Quite a few titles. And this link I'll put in the description as well. These are the Dolby Atmos ultra high definition Blu-ray titles that have been released. A pretty good amount of movies, not as much as the Blu-ray, but hey, this is all still kind of happening right now, and we're just kind of rolling with the punches. More and more movies are being shot on 4K and 6K cameras. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait to get these extra speakers and all that cool stuff. That's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. I also want to thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this content or found it informative, and once again, my name is Chana D, I'm your Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time.